Hey you guys, welcome back to Raya's Tie-Dye and it's Tapestry Day. So, we're doing a peace sign because I haven't done one yet on anything, on a shirt or anything, but it's Tapestry Day. So, we're gonna do a nice big one. And the twist to this one is the peace sign is gonna be liquid dye and the rest of the tapestry is gonna be ice dye awesome so we're gonna get super colorful with this one super bright i am using dharma dye for this one which i'm still not sponsored so it's not like i'm getting paid for that but i'm just letting you know dharma dye um they have lots of awesome colors i also just ordered from grateful dyes so you should check them out too i haven't used them yet but i probably will make a video and i will let you know how they work and what they look like and everything and it's gonna be awesome so peace sign tapestry today also we had a lot of really great comments for the comment shout out a lot of really good ideas so stay tuned for the end when i do the reveal because i will tell you who won and what video we're gonna do so the person who won we will shout out your name, what you said, and then that suggestion that you gave us will be a video that will be uploaded next week. So stay tuned for the reveal and let's get started. All right, so here's our tapestry. It is 58 inches by 58 inches. And the first thing we're gonna do is fold it in half, match up your corners might not see me at the moment but it's the best way i can do it match up your corners and then from there you'll straighten everything out so that everything matches up all my corners now i do not have a big table so mine will hang over the edges a little bit but Try to get out all your wrinkles if you can. And then the next thing we're gonna do is fold it in half the other way. This is only, this isn't part of the fold. This is only just to get the center of your tapestry. So I folded it in half again. You don't have to line it up because the center is this corner right here that has all the folds in it so there's two folds on this side and none on this side so this is the very center of your tapestry so you just take a marker which I have mine on the string so we're gonna be using that in a minute and I'm going to mark right on the inside of that with black Then we're going to unfold it and start folding our peace sign. So this is the very center. We had it marked with black. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom edge, which I have my tag always in the bottom right corner when you're holding it up and you want the front facing whoever you're showing, let's say that. And my tag is always in the bottom right. So you don't have to do that, but that's how I know that it's gonna fit my wall the way that I have everything hung. So that's just my method to my madness. So we're gonna take the bottom of our tapestry and we're gonna hold our finger right on that center part that we marked. And I do not have a protractor, but if you have one, this would be a good time to use it. This bottom part's gonna be folded all the way up 60 degrees. Or they make, I know they make phone apps now for protractors, but I do not need it. So this is about 60 degrees. And then straighten everything out. So that's got the center there. Get out your wrinkles. Make sure everything is flat and then hold that again 
and then pull this back to the outside so that everything matches up. Straighten that out, get your wrinkles out like normal. And then this part, the top of the tapestry, we'll call it, is gonna come all the way over to the other side of the tapestry, all the way. So now, this is gonna be the very center. I don't if you can see that. This is the very center of the peace sign. So now we have to make the very outside of the peace sign, which is just a big circle. So that was where my marker on a string comes in and I'm using black. For some reason, I feel like you guys might not be able to see the red as well. So I have a black marker so you can see it. So when you pull your tapestry up, this is how much tapestry you have to work with. So we want our peace sign pretty big, but we want enough room that if we want to do a different background around it, we will have enough room. So this is the top. This is the bottom. So when we do our peace sign, we want a little bit of room. So we're going to make it pretty big, but not big enough to take over the whole thing. So from your center that you marked earlier, you use your string place that right down on the center there and then try to measure how much of the string you want to use and you're going to make your circle that way. So that's how much I'm going to do. And I'm just going to hold it there and go all the way over. And that's where we're going to pleat fold our outside of our peace sign there. All right, so now we're going to pleat fold our peace sign or outside of our peace sign. So there is two layers on this side from here to here and then there are three layers from here to here. So when you pleat fold you don't want to lose this crease in here so that you're going to want to try to make that its own pleat fold right there. So just as soon as you get up to the part where it goes into three layers you're going to want to make that its own fold. Try to keep it as level as you can, but you definitely don't want it to get lost in your fold. Okay, so now we have our line, our marker line, and it's all pleat folded. So this is straight and my black marker is getting all over my fingers, but it is washable. And if you need those, everything's in the link in the description box down below is everything that I use. So check all of those out. It'll take you right to it. So we are using kite string not sinew. I have not used sinew in a while, but I think kite string is the right job this time. So what we're going to do is the very end of your kite string. I actually made this dowel. Well, I didn't. My husband did, but he cut this dowel for me. I actually just got this dowel at Walmart and they're super long, but he cut this for me so that I had something and uh, it's actually good because last time I used it, I got a blister from pulling too hard just a string. So you got to be very careful with that. Try not to hurt yourself like I do all the time. So we're going to lay this across our line. I leave quite a bit because I don't want to pull it and it comes undone on me. So I put quite a bit over the top here and I hold it with my finger. And then I hold the bottom with my thumb so that I'm holding my fold still. And I unravel, <clears throat> I unravel my kite string and I slide it up under. All right, so I line my kite string up and I'm trying to make sure that it's underneath exactly where I want it to go. And then I'm gonna have it over the top again 
hold it with your thumb so that when you go underneath, it's not gonna come up on you. Slide it underneath, pull a little bit, go up over top again, pull a little bit. And I'm gonna go under one more time. All right, and before I even tie that off, I have another section I have to tie. So this next part is part of the peace sign. So this section here, this whole outside rim here is gonna be part of your triangles inside of your peace sign. So we're gonna want to pleat fold this whole edge to match this line here. So that sounds confusing and it kind of is, but I'm gonna try to show you the best way that I can show you if you've never done that before. So you want the three folds is where you want it. So make sure it's not the big fold on the side, it's the three folds that you have right here. So I am going to start right here and I'm going to move it over and just, it's not gonna be easy because it's kind of a weird fold, but you literally just take this edge and try to match it up with your marker the best that you can. And it's not gonna be flat or anything like that. It's gonna be really weird. But you also want to try to make sure that you're not messing this up, these three folds. Because if you do, they're going to look really weird when you open it up. So just kind of try to work with it because it is a tapestry, it is thick. There's three whole fo folds right here and it's going to be really weird. And it might take you a couple tries because you're going to probably get frustrated, but it'll be totally worth it. And if you have to, you might have to work with all of this fabric too. Just move it out of your way somehow without messing it up. But we got to go all the way down to the tip. And these are, these pleat folds are a lot bigger than normal. So when you do dye those, you're going to have to make sure that you kind of oversaturate them because if not, you're going to get a lot of white and you don't want that. So now I have these big old pleats lined up with my marker. So like I told you before, this is actually part of the circle and the peace sign so the lines in the center of the peace sign so this whole outside edge here is going to be the inside of your triangles from here out is the inside of your triangles this is part of your peace sign and this is part of your peace sign so now we're going to take our kite string and we're going to go about two inches out here so hold that down with your thumb and try to slide it under without messing it up. And hold that. Hold that part with your thumb too so you can get a good hold on it before you pull it. And then pull it some. You don't want to get it kind of tight but not too tight if you get it too tight it's gonna fold up on you pull it again I'm just tugging at this so that it's gonna stay for me I feel like I'm probably gonna have to put a big rubber band right here just to keep this in if not it's gonna be really weird 
All right, so now we have our center and our, this. so this is part of the peace sign and we have one more section of the peace sign. So before we go any further, we're actually going to come back to the center here and do one more around. And then we have one more outline we gotta do. So just make sure your plates are not super messy. And we're gonna come about another two inches on this side. My kite string looks super funny right now. <laughs> so I'm pulling my kite string over, pull it up. And wrap it a couple of times. Tug at it a little bit, not a, not too much to make it fold over on itself. But I'm gonna go one more. All right, so now I'm gonna tie this off because I have this part of my kite string was already kind of wrapped in over here. So I'm going to leave it wrapped in there and tie it because it'll hold it for me. <laughs> so I tied it once. And twice. And cut it. All right, so just to kind of help these stay where they're supposed to. They don't have to because this whole section right here to here is the actual peace sign itself. This is the center of your triangles and then this is the whole rest of the tapestry. So what we're gonna do is whatever color you pick is gonna be this whole thing and then you're gonna wanna pick an outline so that you can outline it. And I'm just gonna use this big old rubber band kinda hold these down so so my colors that I have picked for the peace sign I'm gonna do a yellow because I want it to be really bright and pop and then the rest of the tapestry we have to pick a background that we want to do so if you kind of look at these and stretch them out and see what you got to work with you can pretty much come up with whatever you want and for me i am loving a swirl so they're gonna look not like a typical swirl because of the way that they're folded but i'm gonna do a quadruple swirl which is four swirls in this tapestry so they are already folded in half and they're gonna look pretty much the same, but this is all gonna be liquid dye. This is gonna be ice dye. So that's where the cool part comes in because I want to do rainbow. So what we're gonna do is I am going to actually use kite string still for this and we're gonna make our two swirls. So I'm gonna start down here at the bottom now this is going to be kind of whatever because <laughs> there's no way that that's going to go anywhere or inside of anything. So I am going to take the center. So now just before I even do this, I have to show you this. So there's this right here. And then if you flip it over, there's one right here. So they're going to be kind of weird if you fold that into that. You don't have to, so I am folding this back a little bit so that I can at least get my swirl in there without that being in there. So that's what I did. So I folded that little piece back and then this of course is gonna kinda sit up for me. So I am going to just pick the center or wherever I want it to start, which is right here. I kinda want it to be even and make sure you have both sides of the tapestry in there when you pick it up. And then swirl away. Try to match your pleats the best that you can. It's going to be really weird because it's not a whole thing that you're swirling. So you just want to at least get a swirl in there. 
not all of it is going to want to go together, but and actually, since this is not ginormous in any way, I think I'm just going to use the rubber bands. I'm just going to use rubber bands because it actually turns out to not be very big at all. So I'm going to slide that under to initially hold it for me, which actually does a really good job of. And then this side's going to hold the corner loops on this side. And that, kind of. All right, so you don't need a ton. Obviously, you can't have one this way. There's nowhere to put it over here. And then we're gonna do the other one. So you can turn these whichever way you want. I always turn this way for some reason. It's just gonna look, you know, cool if you do an opposite. So up here, there is no random fabric because I kind of folded it back there. So this one will be probably a little bit bigger than that bottom one. So try to flatten it out the best that you can. Get your wrinkles out, pick your center, do it again. And you can, so if you've ever seen anybody use a hemostat for a swirl, it's actually pretty cool because you can get a really super tight center with it the last time I did it. It was so tight, I couldn't get my hemostat up out of there, so it was kind of cool, but it looked super good. So you can do that. I've seen people use forks before. I've never done that, because um, I just feel like my finger works just as good, I guess. But hemostats get, like I said, gets a really cool tight center in if you don't know what a hemostat is, it's literally forceps. Like um, nurses and doctors use them, but you know, us Thai Thai people, <laughs> not me always, I just have some just to try. You can actually make really sharp petals with for your mandalas with them too. And I'll have to show you that because that's actually super cool and really fun to do. So you can use them for just about anything. So this one's a little wonky. Does that work? Okay. So I, this, it's gonna be a really cool background just because I have no idea other than the swirls what this is gonna look like. So I'm really excited about that. And I don't even know what it's gonna look like. So it's gonna be funny. Nonetheless, I have swirls in here, but also when you're tying this up, I'm actually just tying this part up because I don't want it touching my peace sign because remember, this is all ice dye right here and then the rest of this is liquid dye. So when we ice dye this, I'm going to be making a border and this is going to kind of sit up out of the border and this will have aluminum foil wrapped around it with the ice and the dye in it. So it's going to look kind of like that when I do it. Kind of weird, kind of cool. So if you want to, you can always try to come up with something for these little pieces of fabric. I don't think I'm going to because I think when the ice melts, it's going to literally get whatever color drips on it. And I love that. So I do not have a preference when it comes to that. So let me recap before we get to dyeing. So this is the peace sign itself, the whole outline with the lines in the center. This is the middle of the triangles that makes it a peace sign. And then here is gonna be the weird, awesome background that's gonna look super cool because we got two swirls and it's gonna be four swirls. So this will be ice dye, this will be liquid dye, and you can pick your colors to your heart's content. Let's get to it. Okay, you guys, so here's our peace sign with our swirls. So 
This is a combination of liquid dye and ice dye. So right now, I don't have a border around my ice dye yet, but that's because I have to do the actual peace sign first. So what we're gonna do is I only have one dye that I'm using that's thick water dye. So this is a mixture of sodium alginate water and dye, and it's kind of, it just thickens it up so that it helps prevent any bleeding into anywhere that you don't want anything to bleed. So this is gonna be our outline for the peace sign. So it's gonna go here and here only. And then our whole peace sign itself will be yellow. And then for the middle of the triangles, we're going to do a robin's egg blue and an emerald green. And then ice dye is going to be literally rainbow colors sprinkled all over. So let me just explain what I'm going to do first. So hot hibiscus thick water dye is going to go here. And then I'm going to use the cuticle pusher to push it down in. And I'm going to flip it over and do the whole outline so that it, we can have time for it to get soaked in. So we'll probably do that once or twice. And then right after that, we'll do the yellow, the blue and the green. And then we're gonna set this up so that we can get the ice dye. Um, so this will be elevated. I'm going to use a mug just to hold it up. And then I'll have a, an aluminum foil border, which this will sit on top of. And then we'll put our colors on, put our ice on and go to town. All right, you guys, so this is emerald green, robin's egg blue, kind of blended together. I have hot hibiscus right here, thick water dye. Uh, the cuticle pusher jumped around a little bit, so it is a lot thicker than I planned on, but that's okay. And then we have yellow for the peace sign, which you can see some green in here, but that's from the black marker. So um that's what that is i have more hot hibiscus right here thick water dye and then i literally i tried to place the colors right next to each other and i made a couple stripes out here but however they go however they go is going to be awesome so uh this is going to sit for 24 hours i put a lot of ice on this but i think um 
it should be good. I don't think I'll add any more because there's, like I said, there's a lot in there, so we'll see. But that's where you gotta use your judgment if you think that the bottom isn't as saturated as you want it or as bright, then you should add more ice and maybe even some more dye. Um, so let this sit for 24 hours, rinse it with cold water in the sink until the water runs clear. And then when you wash it, wash it by itself with Synthropol. If you don't have it, click that link down below that says Synthropol or textile detergent and get that from Amazon. It will help get out the excess dye that's left in your tapestries and it is a lifesaver also for your washing machine. So um, get that and then hang dry it I think would be the best because if you put it in the dryer it just tends to bundle up in there even if you put a fabric softener in there with it it still gets really stiff so either way hang drying is I think the best way to do it so I would do that so come back for the reveal we're gonna announce the winner of the comment shout out and don't forget to keep doing the comment shout out with us comment something that you want to see we're gonna do it every week um, so when I tell you the winner during the reveal that's when we're gonna do it we're gonna say your name what you suggested and then we will be doing that video next week so stay tuned for that Hey everybody, so this is our peace sign reveal. I have some pretty interesting colors in here. I'll, this, so remember, this was all ice, this was not. So there is a couple spots that make me a little, little nervous, but I was nervous with the YouTube one and that turned out pretty good. So we're just gonna get right into it. And before I get to the end of this tapestry, we have a comment shout out winter, winter. We have a comment shout out winner and the winner is dun, 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 Donna English. And she wants to see tie dye masks, which I have not done yet. So that will be a fun one. So basically we are going to do that video and upload it next week for everyone to see. And for the rest of us, I'm cutting it with my handy dandy scissors. So congratulations, Donna. We are gonna do some awesome tie-dye masks for you to watch. So keep doing the comment shout out. We're gonna keep doing it every week. So keep telling me stuff you wanna see. I'll put everything together and then we pick a winner. I'm just cutting everything. All right. So this is our peace sign with lots of colors. I'm a little nervous, like I said, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna turn out cool. This is my first one, so be gentle. Let me find my tag. There it is. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. I do wish that my hot hibiscus outline would have been a little bit more dominant, but that actually looks awesome. My colors look cool. I got swirls in all the corners. All right, so I decided that I was gonna wash it and then let you see what it looks like. And here it is. So the only thing I don't like about it, and I don't mind admitting this, is my hot hibiscus outlines. I didn't push them in far enough with the cuticle pusher, so that would be my first mistake. But other than that, I think everything else looked awesome. I randomly placed all my dye for the swirls, so that's why they look all funky and psychedelic. But this was all liquid dye, the peace sign, the triangle, and the hot hibiscus, and then everything else past the yellow was ice dye. So I love it. It looks awesome. I got the quad swirls is what I'm going to call it on there. Pretty cool. So thank you for watching. And up next, we have a cool swimsuit cover-up. I almost messed that up, like always.
So thank you for watching.